We need creative kids in the world because kids who aren't creative grow up to become adults who conform all the time. And conformity is dangerous. One of my favorite studies looks at uh, Nobel Prize winning scientists. Uh, the question is, what do they do differently from their peers? And one of the best predictors is whether they have artistic hobbies. So Nobel Prize winners in science are twice as likely to um, play musical instruments. They're seven times as likely to draw or paint as their peers. They're 12 times as likely to write fiction or poetry. And get this, 22 times as likely to perform as dancers, actors, or yes, magicians. Einstein is, is an example of this. His mother wanted him to learn to play the violin and forced him to take lessons, which he hated. He didn't like anything that authority figures forced upon him. It was only a few years later that he discovered Mozart's sonatas and fell in love with them. And he chose to play the violin on his own accord. And later he said that his theory of relativity was a musical thought. And had he not actually gotten personally interested in the violin, he never would have transformed physics. Here are three ideas for raising highly creative original children. You want to focus on values over rules. When our kids are misbehaving, I hear myself shout, no rule! And then, you know, immediately whatever that behavior is, is outlawed. And kids, if they follow the rule, then they end up just basically trying to please adults, which is not good for teaching them to think for themselves. If they don't follow the rule, then they rebel. And you want them you know, becoming creative because they're interested in looking at a problem from a new perspective, not because you know, they're rebelling against authority. You can help to get kids to think about themselves as creative by actually praising their character, not just their behavior. Instead of saying, oh, don't follow the crowd, or you don't want to be a sheep, you can actually say you are a non-conformist, right? You are somebody who thinks differently. They're much more likely to internalize it as part of their identities and then want to be creative again. One of the best predictors of how creative a generation becomes is the children's books that are popular when they're growing up. Um, books where, where kids are actually doing things that are creative and haven't been tried before. And I think it's a great idea to read these kinds of books to kids, but we can go a step further as parents and ask them you know, for different kinds of situations that they would confront. Well, gee, what do you think Hermione would do in a situation like this? They're much more likely then to learn to perspective take and to imagine, you know, what would I do not only through my own instincts, but through lots of other people's eyes. And that's a great way to get them to, to think more creatively.